Hey guys, it's Sherri Ann Richardson from ExoticGardening.com and we are back with week four of Lowe's Spring Fest. Um, before I begin, I need to tell you that I did receive this item for free. Anyone could have received this item for free just by signing up. Um, there was no requirement for a review or anything like that. So um, it was a completely free item. As you know, I have picked up the items every week. Two of the four weeks I was able to get registered. The other two weeks they had extras left. Um, the pinata, which was a fairly decent kit, and the butterfly houses. There were lots of these left last night too. Um, I don't know why people didn't go in and pick theirs up. My understanding, a lot of the saplings from the Earth Day uh, giveaway was also left. Um, I will link all of those videos below because kit number one, which was the uh, vegetables, and kit number three, which was the Earth Day sapling, I was not impressed with at all. The pinata kit was pretty cool. This butterfly house. I think this is the best one out of the four of them. Um, it was one I was really looking forward to. And within three minutes from the time they opened sign up, sign ups were closed. So again, I don't know why people signed up and then didn't go get their kits. Um, we went at almost closing time, uh, both times to pick up so that people that maybe worked a little bit late or forgot and seven o'clock came and they said, oh, I got to go. Still had a chance to get theirs. <clears throat> um, I know for a fact, a lot of people are getting theirs days or maybe even a week after the giveaway was over. So it's not a matter, as some people have accused me of, of stealing someone else's kits. You snooze, you lose. The pickup time was from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Thursday. If you couldn't be there, you could have had someone go pick it up. Um, one week, I picked up two other people's kits and got that to them. So all you had to do was have their confirmation and their name. Um, they sent confirmation emails and my friends that I picked up for forwarded those to me so that I could show them and I could give their names and it was really easy. So anyway, back to this. Um, I really wanted to open this last night, but I felt like doing it on camera was the best. Um, I did have a friend that was texting me lots of her thoughts on the kits last night, and I did invite her to come on camera with me. Um, she said she didn't want to, so I said, okay. Um, so I may throw in some of her thoughts along the way. Now, this said that it includes a packet of common milkweed. I do want to say something about milkweed. I don't know if these milkweed seeds were stratified. And what that means for those of you that don't know, um, stratification is when the seeds go through a cold period before having a warm period. Some seeds you have to do that multiple times with. Um, milkweed is just one cold period. These are great for those of you that winter sow in the milk jugs or pop bottles. You can stratify in your refrigerator. I have stratified in my freezer seeds that I know will take that kind of cold. Not all seeds will. Some seeds you will kill if you do this. Okay. Um, it says this kit includes a nine piece wooden house kit a set of six paint colors, three butterfly ornaments, one paintbrush, and one packet of common milkweed seeds with planting instructions. And then there are some pictures. Um, so this would be a really good project to do with kids. Now, um, I'm gonna open it up because like I said, I, I wanted to do this on camera. This is what it looks like. Um, so it comes in a little, a little box and oops, already dropping a small piece. Okay. Um, 
Here are the uh, common milkweed seeds, and they do have the botanical name on them. Um, let me see what, these are for uh, monarch butterflies, of course. Uh, let's see. Milkweed seeds need a period of cold weather before they will sprout. Plant outdoors on bare soil or in containers with drainage holes. Seeds should be no more than one quarter inch deep. Give them plenty of light and water. Okay. It does not talk about the uh, cold stratification period. So, um, offhand, guys, I have sprouted lots of milkweed and I don't off the top of my head remember what that stratification period is. Um, I will look up that information after I do the video and I will put it down below in the description, in the written description of how long of a stratification period you need. I would not plant these on open ground. I know that milkweed is a taproot and you have to be really careful. But in all honesty, I would either save these until December and winter sow these, or I would do the stratification period and I would start these in little peat pellets and then I would transplant them up to peat pots if you do that, you need to make absolutely sure all of that peat pot is completely underground because if any of the peat pots sticking up above the ground is going to wick the water and cause the peat pot to dry out, thus causing your plant to die. Um, one thing that I do with peat pots when I do this, any of the peat pots sticking up above the soil line, I break off and get rid of. That way... Um, I'm down to my soil line. I'm not planting things too deep. And it works really well that way because you don't have to worry about potentially damaging that taproot when you transplant. So, um, okay, packet of seeds. I have no idea how many's in here. It sounds like a fair amount, um, but it doesn't say that I can see. Um, <clears throat> onto the kit. The, uh, okay, here are the paints. Now, something that was brought to my attention um, by my friend about this is these look like just your standard uh, paints that you would get for kids. She said that uh, they had done some bad houses before and the bats would not use the house because it had paint on it. She wondered if butterflies was like that, and I did try to research that. I didn't find information either way. I know the butterfly houses you can buy, you can buy painted and unpainted ones. I have had butterfly houses out in my yard, and the butterflies just don't choose them. Um, some people may get their butterflies too, some may not. I think that's okay. I think the point is it's there if they want to. The other thing that she had mentioned was you was going to have to seal the paint and the wood in some way to keep it from just deteriorating. Um, now, the one thing that I did find is that the inside of the house needs to be natural wood because that attracts the butterflies. So possibly even if you had a sheltered area that you could put this, you could do that. Another thought that I had um, for those of us that have crickets, you could possibly do some vinyl and put vinyl on the outside. And that way there is no paint smell. There would still be a glue smell of some kind. But again, I honestly have no idea if that would butter bother the butterflies or not. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> I know there's supposed to be three ornaments. I see two right now. Um, but we're going to keep going through this. They did send a paintbrush. This butterfly house looks... Okay, here's the third ornament. Let me, let me get that out of there. It's a little tiny one, but super cute. Um, this looks like pine. And it looks like it will just literally snap together guys um
pine is not a wood that's going to hold up really well outside. Um, but again, even when you buy some of the more expensive butterfly houses, they don't last forever. So I would not be upset about that at all. I think the way they have made this, this is going to make it really easy to get in and clean. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why. Okay, there we go. Um, it literally looks like these just kind of pop into place. I mean, that's, that's really easy. This seems like a really child-friendly product. It does take a little bit of pressure to push these together. But again, I think that a child with a little bit of adult supervision could do this. Um, I am probably doing it wrong. I am doing it wrong. Um, okay, bottom piece first, guys. Read the instructions, right? Um, bottom piece first. So let me take this back apart. And it does just pull apart. Okay. Um... Okay, so it says to do it like this, and then to put this other piece on right here like that. And again, I am using a little bit of pressure to push this together. Okay, and then it wants the uh, front, the front piece put on. Make sure everything is lined up before you press because the... Uh, these little pieces are plastic so you don't want to break those off okay back piece i think this would be a really fun project for kids um sorry i have had to set this down on my lap um because it's kind of shifting, trying to hold it in the air and get everything to line up. Okay. So you can see how fast this is just really going together. Um, okay. Looks like this... That doesn't seem quite. Okay, there we go. Don't do it backwards. <laughs> um, okay, so the rounded part goes down. And this part goes like that. And then you're going to line this up over here. Um, again. I guess you could use glue if you want. Um, I'm not, I'm actually not going to. Okay. Now I get that that goes like that. Goes underneath. Well, what on earth? Okay. I see. Before you put that second piece of wood on, Go ahead and do that like this and then um i don't know that i would hold the trust this um unless you did use some glue or some little nails to uh keep this from just coming apart in high winds or something and the last piece is right here so there you have it and like I said, you can see how easily that went together. Um, I definitely think for this roof, either, like I said, some glue or, uh, because it's, it's wanting, it's wanting to shift a little bit. So I come apart, you can see that. So some glue or some teeny tiny nails or staples to hold that together up there. And then you could just take these butterflies 
and you could just decorate however you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that you could do if you don't want to hang it is before you put this bottom piece on or even after you could put a mount and you could put this on a post and just not even worry about hanging it. Um, like I said, I kind of like that it seems easy enough to take apart because then at the end of the season you could take it apart and you could clean it inside just like you would birdhouses or things like that um, if you wanted. I do believe people that raise monarchs um, are constantly keeping their areas cleaned to prevent any kind of disease or pest from getting into theirs. So something you definitely might want to think about. Um, like I said, this, I will definitely give this a five star. I think Lowe's did a fantastic job choosing this kit. I think it's easy enough for anyone to put together, a child, a senior, you know, anyone. And I think it's a great thing. We really need to do things to help save the monarchs and the other butterflies. And so, um, I think this was great. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to go, uh, look up for sure the stratification on those milkweed seeds. I'm going to put it below. I'm going to link all the other, uh, videos I've done below in the, uh, description and good luck with your kits, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Hope you enjoyed this kit as much as I did. And we'll see you on another video. Have a great day.